What's going on, fellas? A little bore, uh, if you ask me. But uh, um, I've been wanting to do this because I've, after all this time drinking scotch, uh, I realized that um, the 18-year-old expression uh, tends to be, in my personal opinion, the uh, the best year of maturation, if you will. I mean, it's just perfectly balanced, and 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 I mean that in, in a way that at least these bottles that I have right in front of me, that I have tried um, for every different distillery, uh, among their, their their own different you know stages and, and expressions, 18 has been by far the ones that I've liked the most. For instance. With the Glenfiddich, I like the 15-year-old Solera a lot. Uh, the 21 is great. Uh, the 30 is, 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 is great. It's, they're great scotch, but when it comes to me making the final executive decision for Glenfiddich, I like the 18 a lot. Glendronach 18, hands down. This is superb. Space Eye, Space Eye, Highland. This. Uh, famous grouse. It's uh, it's 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 a blended scotch. Uh, I believe it also has not only malts but it's got grain in it. But nonetheless, it's a combination of Highland Park 18 and McAllen 18. Um, this is great. This is great for sixty dollars. You get this great 18-year-old famous grouse, and you get these two magnificent scotches in there together, among other ones, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but you need about 170 for this, another 120, 130 for this. You know, talking about 300 plus here. Here for 60 bucks, you get to experience this and this together. So. Yamasaki, we're going to a different continent. Yamasaki 18, I have the 12 also. Uh, single malt, both, very, very good. This is a Sherry Monster, this is really good. It's got peat in it also, very, very good. Um, Hibiki, it's uh, it's another, um, well, that's a blend of scotch from the same distillery, Centauri. Um, I saw it a couple of days ago and I, I Sometimes I set my mind for certain things and I come out of the liquor store with something different. But that's something that I've been wanting to review for a long time. Highland Park, 18. This is magical. This is magical. There's pea, there's sherry. I mean, you name it. Everything's in here. This is really, really good. Avalor, 18. Superb dram. Superb. Uh, bourbon cast, sherry oil cast. 18 years old, really, really good. I got all the uh, expressions. I, I have the 12, I have the 16, the uh, Abu Nad. Uh, I had one uh, 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 some time ago. I had the uh, the Abu Nad and uh, the bottle. The owner told me, well, actually, the guy's not my friend, but he told me that the bottle had been open for a while, so it was a little mellow. Um, and you guys all know that the Abu Nad is the castest cast strength so we're looking at about 60 point something percent alcohol by volume uh, that's the only one that's mature in sherry only 18 12 and 16 are a combination double mature bourbon um, white oak American oak bourbon and uh, sherry oak no px though um, this is a superb dram account 18 I, I my bar um, always have to have one of these. This is great. My mother-in-law loves this. My brother loves this product. Um, in fact, after this review, I'm, I'm going to finish up trying all of these uh, with you guys once again, uh, just to recap rather quickly uh, what it tastes like. And of course, the infamous Lefroy 18. So, this is the 18 years old. I don't really, this is a gold label. Uh, I've had there for a while when I first started drinking years ago, uh, but I was never really into sniffing, no seeing, you know, tasting. I was just pounding, um, and of course, in spirit, I've had this uh, many, many times. It's a really great Scotch, the Glen Level 18. Uh, they came out with a new bottle now. Uh, 
and I will be uh, picking up one of them, although I've, I've had a few, it's my brother's favorite. I think that all of, all of these, if he was here, he would probably have had a tough time picking between the Glen Dronach, the Yamasaki, the McAllen, and the Glen Levitt. I can tell you right now that uh, those are his favorites. Um, well, without any further ado, let's go ahead and start with this. Uh, I'm just gonna serve not that much because I'm gonna pound them all. So, this is what we're doing right now. Oh, great, great, great nose. You pick up sherry here and vanilla all together. Heather, really good. Mm. Wow, sweet, glymphatic. They don't cut any corners. These people really know, really know what they're doing. This is a great scotch. 18 is great. Like I said, I have a 21 in the bar. I have a 30 in the bar, and they're great. But you know what? This thing, hands down. Mm. Uh. Beautiful, beautiful. Nuts, cashew, that's what I'm picking up. There's a vanilla. I feel the sherry. <clears throat> not that thick, it's not too dark. It's just a great dram overall. <clears throat> really, really good. <coughs> right, let's move on to the Glendronach 18. <clears throat> this is really good. <clears throat> I'm not gonna do much. Like I said, I'm a little bored today. My orders haven't arrived yet, so I figured let me play with some of the uh, the expressions that I like the most. And of course, 18 is the expression that I like the most. Mm, this is good. This cup is big. The colors. Yeah. Of course, you guys are not really gonna see the darkness in this, but this is sherry. Sherry, sherry, and I believe this is this is uh, yeah mature all 18 years in sherry. This is really dark, really chewy. Mm, raisins. This is wow. So many things going on over here. Mm. It's thick. Wow, there's a sherry punch right there. Mm, love it. It's like chewable. Raisins. Oh man, there's so many things going on here. Mm. It's big brother. The 21 Parliament. Excellent. Combination Sherry. Oloroso. The Phoenix Mega Menace. Super up drag. Oh man. This is gonna be really hard to beat right now. Let's go with a famous grouse. What do we got here? Let's see. Uh, oh, that Glendronic stays with you. So thick. I'm in the patio here, it's about 67 degrees. It's supposed to be a uh, cool down coming down, so uh, playing around with the dog here, having a blast. <laughs> I'm sure you guys can tell. Oh yeah, I smell the peat of this in here. Oh, and the sherry, but I think the sherry is coming from that McAllen 18 more than the uh, than the Highland Park. Although Highland Park is mature in sherry, but I think it's 45 percent first fill. I don't know exactly how it goes, but yeah, a little bit of peat. This is good. Mm. So smooth when it goes down. It's punchy though. It's punchy. But it's great. It's got these two combined. Alright, let's go to Japan. This is off. This is weird. I don't know why this doesn't have a cork. It has a little plastic cap. I don't get it. I really don't know. This is dark. Really dark. 
Oh yeah. Sherry. Uh, there's a small medicinal taste here. Uh, I really don't know if it's uh, that bad like the Jura and the Akintoshin have that small little medicinal taste. But so much sherry here that you know that that you, you can't really pick it up. It's, uh, it's it's here, but it doesn't bother me. Mm. Oh yeah, dark, thick, punchy, peat. Mm, definitely sherry and peat together. Wow, just like Highland Park. Um, refreshing my palate. Okay, what are we doing? <laughs> this is heavy. I love this product. Mm, Highland Park 18. This is magical. This one. This one. Yes. Pete and Sherry together. Ugh, so good. You know what's magical is when, when you drink it. When you drink it is what's really magical. It, it dries your tongue. Then it makes a sweat a couple of seconds later. I, I, I can't explain it. You have to try this. Jerry Tosh, Jerry Tosh, which is the uh, the spokesperson for Highland Park, he he, he defines it very clear. Mm. Pete, yes sir. Pete, Sherry, more Pete than Sherry. Avalor, Avalor 18. Ugh, I've had this for a while. I refer to Abelor as Abelor is king all the time. It's dark. 18 years for maturation. Ugh, this is good. This is dark and I think I'm losing light, but so far this has been the darkest out of the bunch. We still got two more, ladies and gentlemen. We got the McAllen 18 and the Lafroy. Avalor is so sweet. These uh, space ciders, they sure know how to make them. And this is exactly what I'm looking for. Sweet, sherry sweet, fruit, raisins. Oh, man. Mm. Avalor. Sting is king. All right. Night is falling rather quickly, so let's move on to McAllen 18. I oh, love that cork. This is special. I have this one specially for McAllen only. Slightly bigger, more elegant, more refined, and of course, the McAllen emblem. McAllen emblem all over. McAllen, such a unique nose. You can blindfold me here, and I'll tell you, I'll be able to distinguish the McAllen among all of these. How do we get? What do we got here? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight contenders. Yes, nutmeg, cashews, orange. It's just superb, McAllen. Superb. Wow. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Wow. The palate confirms everything I describe on the nose. This guy, it's amazing. Well, you know what? We got one left. Not too much light. And let's finish up with Isla Lafroy 18. You know what? And at the end, I will tell you, I'll be actually telling you which one of these. And I will need two. I will need two because one is not going to cut it. 
Ah, peanut smoke. I haven't had Ireland a few days and this is elegant. Elegant, really elegant. Smoke, finesse. Ah, so great. Such a great scotch. So good. I'm so glad I got it. You know, I, I've had a quarter cask and it's punchy and peaty, but this, this is like the Lexus of Laphroaig. It's, it's superb, unparalleled, for lack of a better term. Mm. Wow. After all that sweetness, that last punch of grass. Whew. Smoky, really mild, smoky, good. There's beat, plenty of beat, but then you get that punch in the face with that grassy taste once it goes down on your palate. So, running out of light, 60 minutes. Hopefully, this will post. Um, if I have to make a selection, house on fire type of metaphor, house on fire. And I gotta grab two of these bad boys. There you have Glen Dronach 18, McAllen 18. Guys, gotta let you go. It's getting too dark. I hope you enjoy this as much as I have because I'm gonna be hitting this McAllen 18 right about now. All right, guys. Any comments? Anything you wanna add there? I'll <laughs> I'll be more than glad to chat with you guys. Until next time.